Hello, the cold repair at Egborough is fully underway and it's a project that has been prepared for the last number of months and years. The work is to rebuild and refurbish our float line and afterwards we will have a float that is capable of producing more tons of molten glass per day than our previous furnace and it will also be able to produce this glass in a much more energy efficient way. Therefore, these actions are perfectly aligned with Sangaban's drive for growth and it's also perfectly aligned with our purpose of making the world a better home. We've put together a few video clips to show you some of the works that have been happening along the line and the project manager of these works, Mick Dickinson, will talk us through what we are seeing. The rebuild is an opportunity to upgrade not only the furnace and floor but also many other areas of the factory. Production was stopped on the 21st of April at 7am and work then started for four days to drain the 2,000 tonne of molten glass. At the same time, nearly 200 tonne of molten tin has been drained from the tin bath. After draining the furnace, a technical inspection was made inside the furnace before demolition could start. Once demolition started, more than 6,000 tonne of refractory has been demolished. The float roof was lifted to enable demolition inside of the float bath. And work then started to remove all of the rollers from the layer. These have been cleaned and polished and are now being put back into the line. The layer itself will be extended by 12 metres to accommodate for the extra capacity that the furnace will deliver. All of the refractors have been stored off site along with all of the cullet. We are now at the halfway stage and progress on the project has been very good. The new furnace and float are starting to take shape and here you can see the regenerator starting to be built back up. We have just five weeks of construction remaining before we start the heat up of the furnace and a further update will be given at the end of the construction.